X let himself in my apartment while I'm sleeping. My ex as of today and I broke up. We live separately and have a six-week-old daughter. He has a key and some of his belongings are in my apartment because we hadn't sorted through all of that yet. We just broke up before he went to work. He just let himself in at 10.30 p.m. while me and baby are sleeping. No phone call no text just walks right in. He's currently in my living room on his computer. I am pretending I'm asleep and that I don't know. I'm too tired to fight with him and kick him out tonight. I don't know what to do. Maybe text from the other room saying you don't want to fight, but you were under the impression that you'd broken up and did not expect to be disturbed at such an hour. Ask him to stay at his own house and arrange a time for when you can speak properly and organize things. Thank you guys for being awake RN. Change your locks as soon as possible and get rid of his stuff as soon as possible. How are you now op? Yes he did not contact me at all to tell me he was coming over and he's clearly trying to tiptoe as to not wake me. It's weird AF. Tell him to leave the key when he leaves. If he's a threat to your safety call the police. We need to break up over future children. I, F20, and my boyfriend, M21, have been together for a long time. Tonight we had an unexpected conversation about children and our future, I did not bring this up. My boyfriend and I have dabbled in the conversation about possibly having kids but we've never really had the big talk. We have always said that we will, probably, have children and I have always been more on the definite for children as I have always wanted to be a mom. We are both still very young and both live at home and have jobs that could definitely not afford to look after a child and I have always said that when we choose to have a kid then it'll be at a time when we have our own home. Enough money to spoil our child and not worry about money so this won't be in the near future. Anyways, my boyfriend told me he will not be having any children. He doesn't want them and in fact will go as far as to having a vasectomy to make sure that he doesn't have kids. As you can imagine I was really shocked to hear him be so definite on a decision when only a few weeks ago he was still saying, probably. However this is his life and I completely respect it even though I can't lie that I am a little bit disappointed because I truly believed we were forever. I was supportive with his decision but I also ended the conversation by telling him I wanted kids and if he was so definite on his plan as to even as going as far as getting a vasectomy then we would need to have a conversation about our future and that we possibly will need to break up because it's not fair for both of us to sacrifice what we want to make the other one happy. I was called selfish for wanting to break up over hypothetical children. But I don't believe I'm being selfish. I think I'm freeing him from our relationship so he doesn't need to either a uh, make me unhappy by not letting me have a life I want or be forcing him to stay in a relationship and have a kid with me that he doesn't even want. I don't even want him to change his mind for me. I want him to want children for himself not because it will make me happy. I need advice and stories similar so I don't feel like a complete and utter horror for breaking up with him over children that we don't have. I also want to add that I love him more than life itself and I never actually thought there would be a day where I would be questioning our relationship. If I could have the best of both worlds and have him and a baby then I would be elated but I know that it's not what he wants and I can't force him into the happy family idea that I want so badly. Completely fair to break up over this, you want kids he doesn't, that's a fundamental difference. You both just have different goals in life, you were together for a while, learn from it but in the end your path and his are not the same. Breaking up is the best for you both and you already summed up all the right reasons. You definitely need to break up over this. My ex and I didn't want kids when we started dating. At some point she changed her mind and she dumped me over it. I'm just glad she did it after my vasectomy. Believe me, you'll be doing your boyfriend a favor by dumping him. Break up. Kids are a major pillar you need to agree on. I broke up with my ex-boyfriend over children, lifestyle. He wanted multiple kids and to live in the country. I wanted one kid and to live in the city. I have been with my husband for almost a decade and live exactly the life I wanted. My ex has done the same. You'll find someone who wants the same thing. Neither of you is selfish and incompatibility about kids is legitimate. Good on him for going for vasectomy. Many guys skip that part and then skip on kids they never wanted. Also, if you want to be a mum the only course of action is to break up and he should know that and not waste your and his time. While breaking up is the right thing to do based on the info, I'll add a caveat you might want to give it some time first if it's an option. In my early 20s I wasn't sure I wanted kids, by my late 20s I was positive and got sterilized. Now in my 30s I've occasionally questioned whether it was the right decision, but ultimately I'm happy with my choice. All this to say, people's minds can change. 
If neither of you thinks a change of heart is at least possible, then breaking up now is best. But if that possibility does exist, and you have the time, it might be wise to give it a chance before moving on. My, 26 male, girlfriend, 25 female, is threatening to break up with me if I don't kick my sister out. A month ago my younger sister, 13, moved in with us. Our mom has been a drunk my whole life but she has always been a functioning alcoholic till now. My sister called me crying a month ago and said that our mom let this dude move in and he was being creepy towards my sis. So I drove down and my mom agreed that my sister should go live with me. I didn't ask my girlfriend for permission because my sister needed help so it was a no-brainer. But ever since she moved in my girlfriend has been complaining non-stop, that I'm spending too much time with her, that I'm not spending enough time with my GF, that I'm spending too much money on my sister and so on. And now she told me that she'll dump me if I don't kick out my sister. That I'm not her father and I shouldn't have let her move in at all. We've been together for five years and I honestly never seen her act this way. I'm obviously not going to kick my sister out but I just don't know how to fix things with my girlfriend. If your sister was an adult I could see where your old lady was coming from, but your sister is 13 and needs a reliable family member. If she breaks up with you because you're taking care of your sister then she ain't the one chief. You can always find another GF, can't get another sister. You didn't ask your girlfriend for permission. Your sister needed help and that wasn't a matter to hesitate on. But how did you involve your girlfriend in this? It's probably academic at this point. The situation seems rather far gone. Still, was there any discussion? Did you talk this through with her? Examine how your lives would change? What would need to be done? One assumes your girlfriend doesn't hate your sister unless there are other factors not mentioned in the post. She might even have been on board if you'd involved her more in this. My little sister would come first. I'm the oldest out of five. I'd be like, well, you do you boo, and go back to doing whatever it was I was doing when she decided to be dumb and threaten that. The only fix I can see is breaking up. Your little sister is the priority here a minor child with nowhere to go, living in a terrible situation. And your girlfriend is whining about it? I get being frustrated sure but that child needs to come first. If your girlfriend can't see that, I'd really question her character. I would love to hear the GF side of the story. Before I say anything else I think it was the only right thing to do to take your sister out of the bad situation. However, as it was pointed out in some other comments, I think you should have a discussion with your girlfriend after that. About money as there is now another mouth to feed. About her having her own space. And about what would worry me the most if I was your girlfriend is this permanent. Like I said I'm happy you took your sister out of that situation. There is no arguing about that but where do you go from here? Was this just something acute and she's going back to live with another relative? Or is this your life now and your plan is for all of you to live together for the foreseeable future? I highly doubt Op is such a saint and would like GF's perspective to be honest. I found my girlfriend on Tinder. Now what? A friend of mine sent me a screenshot of my girlfriend, Edit X, on Tinder asking about it. She had suggestive photos and was also wearing the necklace, bag, and shoes I bought for her on her profile. Before I found this out she muted me and my friend's story on Instagram and has been ghosting me for a week. I haven't contacted her in 5 days. Should I text her about it? Should I ghost her back? How should I deal with this? It's been 5 months with her and I thought she was happy. I'd let her know that your friend found her on Tinder. And you wish her all the best. And after that end all conversations. Move on. You don't need this drama. I think you got your answer. Hurts but move on. She is showing you no respect. Dude, she's gone. She's ghosting you and you found her Tinder profile. What more do you need? She's not your girlfriend anymore. Just block her number and don't contact her again. It's over and for the best. Friend found you on Tinder. I hope you find what you're looking for. Then disappear. She'll flip out, but you don't need that shit.